Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and How To's. I'm Tyler. Check out what we are reviewing today. This is the NVG20, and it was sent to us by the manufacturer for us to check out today. Now, as you can see, this is a night vision monocular. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off my head, make sure my hair looks good. But this is what you are going to get, minus the helmet. Uh, it mounts on your helmet just like that, and easy to take off. Boom, there we go. I'll set this helmet to the side. But right there, really cool, lightweight. I really like it. I've had no issues using it. Uh, comes with multiple adjustments on here and everything. We will go over how well this works here in a second. I do have some video. Uh, this thing does have an SD card in it that you can load into here, take video, and then hook it to your computer. Uh, also has uh, direct connect Wi-Fi that you can utilize and uh, you can just connect it to your phone and then you can pull it off of here as well. So that's super cool. Now the SD card that is included with this, the micro SD card, uh, not the best. I was only able to get about a five megabyte per second transfer rate on that. Uh, so you might want to think about upgrading that. Also the audio on this it does record audio. However, the audio is quite poor. So if you're needing audio along with your recordings and stuff, you will need uh, something else to record. Me, I have a uh, mic here and I connected it and you'll see the difference whenever we go over that video here in a second. Um, it has your little focal adjustment right here. Also has one here on the back side. A really nice cushion on here to go on your eye. Has your three little buttons on here. Have a power button, uh, a plus and a minus. Uh, you can access your menu, zoom in, zoom out, uh, turn on your IR, whole bunch of different little functions on here. I'm not gonna go over every little single thing that you can do. Uh, there is a, I don't know, menu options on there with like 16 different things that you can go to and adjust. Um, but yeah, really cool. And you're also going to get your data cable USB-A to USB-C as well as a charging plug right there. A couple other little rail mounts and stuff on this if you want those. Uh, another one there. And you are going to get another uh, transfer cable with this. Uh, one's to connect to your charger. And then the other one is for data, obviously. So one's for data, one's for charging. Boom, right there, there is your charger. Uh, has just a battery on here that pops out. Go ahead and pop that out, show it to you. Right there, type of battery here is an 18650, 2600 milliamper, 3.7 volt battery. So, and this is supposed to give you around four to five hours of time, just depending on if you are recording or if you are not recording, or if you are using the infrared or not using the infrared. If you're using the infrared and recording, I believe it said it would be about three hours, which that's still quite a bit of recording time. If you're going to be out there at night for three hours recording, definitely going to need to uh, upgrade that SD, or SD card in there. Uh, also it comes with uh, your instructions right there so that you know how to use this in case I don't cover everything. Uh, I'll go over those little menu options on here to make sure there's nothing crazy that I want to talk about. Uh, that's super important. Um, you can change, uh, it has like loop recording on here. I believe it's a one, three, five, and 10 minute loop recording option. Uh, you can play back on this also. Uh, it can connect uh, your, to your phone, like I said, via the Wi-Fi. Uh, has a little crosshair function that you can enable. Uh, an automatic infrared, so it automatically will turn on whenever it gets dark and stuff outside. It has LCD brightness. You can also set that to automatic. That's what I keep it at. Uh, you can change your date and time, auto power off, change the language, uh, the resolution. Uh, it does have a gyroscope in here, which is cool. So it'll like sort of tune the video and tune the camera to how you're moving and stuff. Also, of course, it also means that it has a uh, compass in it. And then you can format everything on your SD card, go back to default settings, and then check your version and upgrade and stuff like that on there. 
So I think that's pretty much everything in the menu. Like I said, I wasn't gonna get it too deep into that, but that's what is on there. Also does include a little thing here so that you can clean the lens and stuff inside of there. So I think that's pretty much everything covered right there. Oh, also you do have a little cap for it. So boom, put that on there. So let's go ahead and check out some of that video footage. Okay, so as I said, I'm doing a voiceover on this because the audio on this is not very good at all. I'll go ahead and stop talking for a bit and I'll cut over to the audio that the uh, night vision monocular actually uh, picked up. So here it is. <laughs> All right, so there you can see, uh, not very loud, not very clear at all. And I had to actually boost that uh, quite a bit with my editing software. So if you're wanting this in order to uh, record audio, that will not be very good. But as you can see with uh, everything that we're looking at right here, this is what it looks like during the day. Uh, you can switch through the different modes. Obviously we're not turning on IR, no need for it right now during the day, but you do have your green, uh, your white phosphorus, your black and white, and your normal color. Uh, with the normal color, there's a little bit of a uh, purple hue to this. Not sure exactly what causes that, probably something uh, to do with the night vision. All right, so it is now dark outside, so we're gonna check this out. Go ahead and adjust the focus on this. All right, there you go. Looks really nice. Pretty crisp out here. It automatically adjusts a little bit. Boom, look at that. You can see every star in the sky. That's really cool. Okay, so we'll look at the ground here. It's really dark. And this is just on normal mode. And then over here, we are looking pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on our infrared. There we go. All right. Looks really good. And then turn it off. And you can see the difference. So infrared on pretty much see all the individual leaves and everything out there. So it looks really good. And then back off again. And then we'll cycle through. There's the green, the white phosphorus, black and white, and back to normal. And then we'll try this zoom out. There's two times zoom, three times, and four times zoom. All right, cool. And this recording function works really well. Haven't had any issues with it. Might want to upgrade the micro SD card that comes with this. There you go again if you want to stargaze. Look at that, that looks really cool up there. All right, so there you go. You saw some daytime footage as well as some nighttime footage from the NVG20 monocular. Overall, I'm very impressed with it. I really like it. Uh, another thing that I did want to add is in the instructions, they didn't include this. I had to go and search for it, but there is an app that you will need to use in order to pull off the videos. And that's going to be the TRV Cam app. It is available in the App Store, but it is not available in the Google Play Store. So you will need to sideload that. Uh, again, that is the TRV Cam app. So overall, very impressed with this. I like it. Highly recommend it. Go ahead and check it out.